that court sat here to the PEC at Common State University. Tom Bradley rejoined once again by Dan Mason getting set for a critical matchup as we've been down the stretch in the MEAC schedule between Coppin State and Bethune-Cookman. And the first time these two teams played, it was a very one-sided affair in favor of Bethune-Cookman. Interesting, though, Todd, but series, though, the Eagles lead 30-29. to 60th meeting today. Might want to look at some stats here. Field goal percentage-wise, Bethune-Cookman 40% and the Eagles 33%. But listen to this one. Three-point range, Bethune-Cookman 36% to 25% for Coppin State. And let's hope that we keep those three-point attempts down tonight. However, 70% field goal rate or, or free throw percentage, 70%, 64% for the Wildcats. So for the visitors from Bethune-Cookman, they're going to deploy a 5'3 senior guard out of Deerfield Beach, Florida, and Emily Williams. She's flanked by Angel Golden, a 5'8 junior out of Tampa, Florida. Ashanti Hunt, a first-team preseason all MEAC pick, 5'11 junior, coming back near home, hailing from Washington, D.C., so here in Baltimore, about an hour away. Lindsey Edwards, a 5'11 senior out of Indianapolis, Indiana, is the four. Jasimi Brown is a six-foot junior out of Daytona, Florida. That's Deltona as opposed to Daytona. It's Deltona. She is the five as a six-foot senior. For Coppin State, it's Mariah Smith as a lead guard, a 5'5 freshman. Flanked by Dami Oliede, a 5'11 sophomore out of Beltsville, Maryland. Now, I've got her listed at the two. We'll get to that here in just a second. Chance Graham, 5'11 sophomore out of Upper Marlboro, Maryland. At a three-spot, Candace Beverly, six-foot senior. At a Fredericksburg, Virginia, at the four. Alexis Taylor, six-foot junior. Out of Washington, D.C., at the five. And you heard from Coach Burroughs in the countdown to tip-off show here this afternoon. Genesis Lucas has been that lead guard all season long, a bit under the weather today, but she will play. She only played 22 minutes last game, so we'll look for maybe she'll get more minutes this game. Elsewhere today, Maryland Eastern Shore is at North Carolina Central. Florida A&M is at Delaware State. That's two teams in the MEAC at three wins apiece. Coppin goes to Delaware State on Monday for a 5.30 tip. Elsewhere, it is Howard at North Carolina A&T. Savannah State to Norfolk State and South Carolina State is at Hampton, of course. Coppin just saw Hampton a week ago. 83-48 was that final. Bethune-Cookman coming off the win over North Carolina Central. They'll travel across town for a Monday matchup at Morgan State. Coppin's remaining schedule. As we mentioned, this is the first of four down the stretch. Home today with Bethune-Cookman at Dell State on Monday, at Morgan a week from Monday, and then home to Howard on March 1st before going to Norfolk for the MEAC tournament at Scope on, on to the crazy MEAC tournament. We've talked so many times, you have the regular season when you take on all the non-conference games then you get to the conference games which are crazy and then you get to the crazy crazy MEAC tournament well coming down the stretch Dan as I mentioned before they've got three teams in front of them including Bethune Cookman today I would argue that if they do what they're supposed to do it's four winnable games I believe so and you talk about the three different spots or four different spots in those brackets within the MEAC standings. They can change zip codes, if you will. Well, no doubt. The Eagles, get. I think they get a little bit better every game. And, you know, the Hampton game got away from them. It really did. I think that when uh, Genesis set down, it was really difficult for the leadership to continue at point guard. That's when we saw a flurry of turnovers after that. And Hampton was an excellent team. And we'll say goodbye to them next year in the MEAC, honestly. They're not, they'll, be, they'll be leaving the MEAC next season. Yes. So with Vanessa Blair Lewis, hopefully having a big day today, if you will. All the best to her and the family. I hand it off to my partner, Dan Mason, for the opening tip-off between Coppin State and Bethune-Cookman. Thank you, Todd. Let's, let's hope for a good afternoon. Coppin State dressed out in their traditional white uniforms with navy trim, metallic gold numerals, and lettering. Bethune-Cookman, the Wildcats will be in their black uniforms, maroon trim, with gold numerals, gold stripes. They're in their huddle. Teams break. We're ready for tip-off. Chance Graham, 
usually jumps center court. And she'll do that again today. She'll jump against Chaz Brown, who has put in several minutes this year. Not so many last year, but the junior from Deltona, Florida, has sure put it up this year. Official moving in. In the air. Coppin retains, and here we go. A lot of contact underneath. Ball goes out of bounds. Eagles have it back. Candace Beverly was on her way to the baseline. Slapped out of bounds. Dami gets the inbound. Beverly in the corner, and Mariah will swing to the top of the key. Dami to Graham. Bumped there by Hunt. Not called. Hunt takes it away. And she is on the run. Nice pass, and she drives it right in. Bethune-Cookman on the board at 2 to nothing. 9.24 left. Now Smith, guarded closely by Williams. Chance sees an opening, and she'll pick up the foul. It's on Brown. That's her first down on that first possession. As Dwayne Burroughs said to us in the countdown of tip-off, one of those unforced errors in that first possession. First shot by Chance. Out. Pretty quickly, Patricia Albert in the game as Dami comes out. Chance Graham, 5'11", sophomore from Upper Marlboro. She'll shoot her second shot. It's in there. Early on, Todd, the Eagles seem a little bit more patient to the basket. Yeah, and the great drive by Graham to draw that contact, getting to the doorstep. As the first look today is going to be inside out as opposed to outside in. There's Williams with the ball. Given to Edwards. Angel Golden shoots. Good. She's their leading scorer, and she's on the board. 4-1. Wildcats. 849. Albert has it out front. She throws it away. Turnover right away. And immediately Dami's off the bench. And she'll replace Albert. Substitution for Bethune Cookman, too. We'll pick that up. Edwards in. I believe nope. That was Scott. She enters the game for the Wildcats. Williams has it. She makes a turnover there, throws that ball away. And Beverly has it. Gets it to Mariah. 8-23, 4-1. Another turnover. Timeout, Coppin State. Coppin State takes the timeout. Bethune-Cookman, 4. Coppin State, 1. And this is the Coppin State Sports is at work. Thanks for listening. If you're on 1570 AM in Baltimore, or you might be on CoppinStateSports.com on our video stream. Score is 4-1. to Bethune-Cookman on top, 8-19 in the first quarter. Three unforced turnovers on Coppin State early. At that pace, they'll be well over 12, and that's not going to sit well with Coach Burroughs. 
Wildcats will inbound. Hunt to Williams. She crosses center court. Fist in the air. On the left wing. Here's Golden. Shoots. No good. Battle for that. Taylor almost had it taken away, but she's got it. Gives it to Mariah. 7.56. Williams is right there with Mariah. Almost taken away again. Cochran retains. Beverly will throw it in for the left. Gets it into Smith. Williams is a really tough defender there. Gets it to Beverly. She'll try to drive the paint. Can't get in. Now she's inside. Spins. Shot up. No good. Time, time clock expires. Shot clock violation. Coach Wurls thought that shot hit the rim. The official does not agree to that. What's your opinion, Todd? Hit the glass. I know why he's fighting for his team. I get it. I didn't think it hit the rim. I thought it hit the backboard. Williams the other way now. Golden out front. She'll fire off a three. Rims out. Underneath the board. Graham's got it. She's trying to get to the corner. You hear Coach Burroughs with that. Goes back out front, though, to Smith. A little bit more patience today out front. It costs them sometimes with the time clock, but they are more patient with the ball. Graham, she'll shoot a three. Good. Chance Graham. Ties it up at four. 6.53. Williams calling a play again. In the corner. Golden, 10-footer, in the air. No good. Graham with the rebound. Here comes Smith to Dami. And there's a whistle, I believe. She traveled. Traveling violation. Substitution, Kanisha Battle replaces Golden. 634, we're tied at four. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Hunt. Battle shoots away. No good. One and done that time. Chance threw the ball up. Couldn't get it, though, and here comes Hunt the other way. Hunt will fire up a 10-footer. No good. Alexis Taylor goes and gets the rebound. Coppin looking good on the board so far. Dami all the way to the other end. No good. Battle with the rebound. And here come the Wildcats. Williams to Hunt. Back out front to battle. Williams working the right side. Left corner to battle. Out front. Hunt. Looking for a shot. Can't get it. Eight minute eight on the shot clock. Williams has to shoot. Four on the shot clock. Long shot away. It's good. Edwards hits a three. Seven four. 531. Bethune Cookman on top. It's a big shot by Edwards to give. The Lady Wildcats, the lead back. Mariah crosses the center court. Beverly, she picked up a foul. It's going to be on battle. Picks up her first, second team foul. Inside, Beverly swings it back out to Mariah. Smith tries to drive inside. Beverly shuffles it back out. Almost taken away. Go back out to Coppin. Slapped out of bounds. 16 on the shot clock. Smith will inbound. Tadami out front to Graham. Taken away by Hunt. Drives on Graham. Take it away, and slapped away, and Taylor picks it up. Graham made a good defensive play that time, Todd. Nice two-handed block going straight up. 7-4, Wildcats on top. 4.41 left in the first quarter. 
Pass over to Graham. Inside, it's slapped away and pushed inside to Beverly. Back out front to Dami. Dami to Taylor. Seven, sec- seven seconds on the shot clock. Got to go. Here's Mariah. Spins around and she picks up the foul. That's what Coach Burroughs wants. He wants to drive to the paint to pick up the shots where they have an advantage on the free throw line. Works out good that time. Well, Dan, the issue has been is that when the opening down the lane has presented itself, Toppin's not driving. Smith hits a first. Chaz Brown back in the game for Bethune-Cookman. She replaces Lindsay Edwards. 7-5 now, Bethune-Cookman on top. 4-24 in the first quarter. Mariah hits the second. Make it 7-6. And this pace of play favors to up in state right now. It does. They're more deliberate, looking for better shots. They go inside before they fire away. Here's Brown. It rolls out on her. And let's get the call here. Goes back to Coppin State. And again, you see four white jerseys going to the glass to get the rebound. 4-0-7. Coppin down by only one. So far, so good. Mariah to Beverly. Gets it to Graham. She has Hunt on her. You can see Hunt's been assigned Graham today. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Foul inside. It's going to be on Williams. Yeah, it's a little hand check action going on defensively, and now Bethune Cookman makes a change. Brianna Battle will come in the game. Got to get the ball in. Long pass out to Chance. She has it deep outside the perimeter. Hands it off to Mariah. To Dami on the left. Dami wants to drive. She's going in. Hit, put it in. Good shot, Dami. That's the way to do it. Hopping on top by one. 3.26 left. The first quarter. Battle out front to Hunt. Back to battle. Inside, it's taken away by the Eagles. Mariah has it. Drives the left side, gets it out to Chance. Chance is going to shoot a three. Bingo! Bingo, bingo! She put that right through, Todd. 7 nothing. Cop and run to lead by four to 11 7. 257 in the first quarter. Hunt has it. I'm certain Hunt's been assigned to Dami, or not Dami, but to Chance today. She gets all the tough defensive assignments. Deep in the corner, battle, she misses. And Graham has the rebound. Graham has picked up a boatload of rebounds today, already in the first quarter. Smith, very deliberate, gets it to Dami. Steps back in traveling violation. Albert in for Coppin State. More substitutions. Now Hardy is in for Bethune-Cookman. And Angel Golden back in for Bethune Cookman, her leading scorer. Brianna Battle crosses center court to Hunt. Back to Battle and Hunt. Battle has it. The Golden on the on the right. Almost taken away by Dami. Twelve seconds on the shot clock. It is taken away this time. Beverly takes it away. Tries to slow it down a little bit. Now Graham's going to drive the baseline. She said she stepped on the baseline. Ball's turned over to Bethune-Cookman. Dan, she took Hardy all the way across the baseline to the far side of the lane and was getting ready to pivot back when she got called for stepping out of bounds. Two minutes now in the first quarter. Coppin by four. Long shot. Three-pointer by Brianna Battle. Right at the top of the key. Eagles by one. Graham has it, top of the key. Guarded closely by Hunt. Gives it off to Beverly. Back out to Mariah. Now Mariah almost drives. Pulls up with a 20-footer. Not close. Hunt with a rebound. And she's moving. 
Gives it to Angel Golden. Battle in the left corner. Back out to Golden. Hunt's going to shoot. 20-footer on the way. Good. That puts Bethune Cookman on top by one. Down to 113 now in the first quarter. Smith slows it down. She has battle on her. Passes off the left wing to Domic. Another traveling violation on Domic. Another turnover. Coach Burroughs goes to the bench, and he's going to have Alexis Taylor in to replace her. Keep in mind, with 63 seconds to go first quarter, Coppin's down just one. They've had a lead a moment ago. Genesis Lucas has yet to see one second of playing time in this first quarter, battling an illness today. Battle to Hunt. Front to Golden. Battle has it. Almost takes slapped away, but Bethune Cookman will keep the ball. 48.9 seconds. Coppin State has played a very good first quarter, Todd. Absolutely right. You take those extra turnovers and unforced turnovers out of the mix, they should have a lead. Hunt, double team. Battles wide open for a three. This one's no good. Rebound, Albert went high for it. Unfortunately, she slapped her own ball out of bounds. Brianna Battle will put it in. She'll bring it in. Slaps the ball one time, gets it out deep to Hunt. 36 seconds. Battle to Golden. Golden's going to shoot. She got it. Three-pointer, two. 29 seconds, 15-11. Inside the Albert. Looks to Taylor. Still can't get the ball in the paint yet. Beverly has it. Ten seconds. Now Graham puts it in. Chance drove the basket, put it in, and she was fouled. Great shot for an and one. Only eight seconds now in the first quarter. Yeah, and that catch. stems an 8-0 run by Bethune-Cookman after Coppin took that four-point lead on their 7-0 run. That looks strong. Eagles down by two. The shot, good. 15-14. Seven seconds. Five. Four. Hunt drives. He's going to dish it off to Golden. A long shot, good at the buzzer. That was a dagger right at the buzzer. It puts Bethune Cookman on top, 18-14, and you're listening to the Coppin State Sports Network. That court side of the PEC here at Coppin State University. Todd Barley joined by Dan Mason. Bethune Cookman leads Coppin State 18-14. Both teams with a lead in the first quarter. Coppin's first lead was 8-7. They would balloon it to four points at 11-7. And then Bethune Cookman answered, closing out the first quarter 11-3. Well, we've got the first quarter in the books now. And um, rebounding edge big to Coppin State. 9-3 to so far. But the turnovers are hurting us, Todd. We've committed 10. They've only committed 3. Wildcats put the ball in play. And they're down by, we're down by 4. Wildcats working the left side. Get it out the battle. Golden has been really hot in the first quarter. Underneath. Ball bounces out. They're going to give it back to Cockman. No, they're going to give it to Bethune-Cookman. 
And Coach Burles was off the bench again. We have a monitor if you want to look at it. <laughs> they did look at the monitor on that last shot before the end of the first quarter. Ball's way outside to Hunt. Here comes Hunt. Tries to go to the middle. Gets it back out to Battle. Battle's going to shoot another three. Way out of control as the shot clock expires. Shot clock expiration. Coppin State will take it over. Good defense at that time. Mariah over center court. She wants to drive the paint. Kicks it back out to Beverly. Beverly swings left. Now Chance has it. The front. Mariah. Back outside the perimeter. Looking to go. Here she goes. Ball bounces off her foot. And goes out of bounds. Another turnover. The 11th of the first half. You can hear Coach Burroughs. He's not a happy man. A lot of times Coach Burroughs lands right in the front of Todd and I. And the microphones pick up everything he says. <laughs> Angel Golden passes off to Brown, and she is double teamed in the corner. And I believe they'll pick up a foul on, this will be on Patricia Albert. Golden has eight points so far for the Wildcats. Ball's inside. Traveling violation. That'll be against Hardy. Turnover that time for Bethune-Cookman. And immediately off the bench comes Edwards. And Hardy sets down. 8.43 in the first half. Wildcats by four. Albert out front to Graham. Inside, Beverly spins, five-footer in the air, good. Nice shot, nice spin move. Shot it with the left hand. Battle directing traffic, holds a palm up. Long shot, bounces out by Lindsay. Lindsay Edwards missed that shot. Dan, this pace of play we talked about in the first quarter. If Bethune-Cookman is willing to get into a half-court offense, grind it out kind of game, Coppin's going to be in this thing all afternoon. Well, Coppin stays a lot more patient with the ball. It's, that is obvious. Smith out front to Graham. Taylor to the right. Chance drives now. That's an offensive foul. They get Alexis Taylor with a moving screen with two on a shot clock, and Dami's coming to replace Alexis Taylor. Alexis looks surprised at how that could be on her, but. Seven forty-four, Coppin State down by two. Paddle directing traffic, moving to the left side. To Edwards out front. Paddle's now moved to the right, she'll fire off a three, misses. Beverly has a rebound. Another Coppin State rebound. To Dami. She's only seven feet away from the basket. Graham will fire off the three. No good. Battle has the ball. And she's running the other way. To the left, crisscross. To the right, Golden fires away. Good. That's a three-point play for Angel Golden. That's 11 points on the day, the, uh, day for our Angel Golden. Coach Burroughs encouraging Dami to go hard. Albert threw it away. Tried to go inside, but this ball's picked up by Bethune Cookman. Five point lead now by the uh, Wildcats. The longest. Here's Angel Golden again. No good from the left. Coppin with a rebound. She's running the other way, or Mariah's running the other way. Shot off the glass. No good. That was a little bit out of control. Need to settle back down again. Now the ball's hunt to Golden. Golden fires, no good. Battle for the rebound, and there's contact. This one probably go against, uh, this is going to go against Smith. Mariah Smith. 
It's her first foul. Mia Cruz in the game now. Albert comes out for the, the um, Eagles. So now Coach Burrow is going to a guard heavier lineup than he has been with one guard, four forwards. Now he's to two guards and three forwards. Ball's inbound to Golden. She hits again. 14 points for Angel Golden. Got to find a way to defend her. Eight-point lead. Crooms has it. 15 on the shot clock. Almost taken away. Chance. Spins. No foul. There are a lot of contact, but no foul. Bethune-Cookman picks it up, and Williams is on the run. Sets her team. Looking for a shot. Passes off to Golden. Back out front to Williams. Now Williams sets the offense. Gets it off to Edwards. Edwards in the corner. Bounce pass underneath. Taken away by Chance Graham. Almost taken away. It is taken away. Chance tried to get it into Beverly. But now Golden is all alone underneath. Puts it in. It'll be a timeout here. A Coppin State timeout to talk it over. 5.22 left. Bethune Cookman 26 and Coppin State 16. You're listening to the Coppin State Sports Network. to go first half. Bethune-Cookman with a 26-16 lead on Coppin State. Since Coppin had an 11-7 lead, Dan Mason, 19-5. Bethune-Cookman lead by 10 to 26-16. And the plus-minus for me is negative 2. Plus 6 on the boards, but minus 8 on the turnover margin. It's a net negative 2. Well, if you look at the field goal percentages, you know, 5 for 11, that's not that bad. Uh, 2 for 3 from uh, three point, four for five from the field, foul shot. It's not that bad. And Angel Golden, six of 11 on her own. Oh, goodness gracious. There's the difference in the game. 5 11 in the first half. Smith drives around, no good. She drove right side, off the glass, no good. Bethune Cookman with the ball. And here comes Hunt. Hunt is a workhorse, never sets down. Still no Genesis Lucas. Williams out front, needs some energy. She's waving left to Edwards. Edwards to Hunt, she'll try to go around Dami. Pulls up with a 15-footer, no good. Edwards has a rebound, gets out to Williams, she'll reset with a fresh shot clock. 4.31. Hunt, Edwards has it, she's immediately double teamed and fouled. Are they traveling? Nope. Traveling violation. Well, there is the sixth turnover for the Wildcats. Williams against Smith in the front. Gets it off to Beverly. Beverly to Graham on the right wing. Now Beverly dishes it off to Crooms. Back out front to Smith. Smith. Here's Chance. She'll shoot. No good. 357. And here comes Williams the other way. Here, Golden fires away. This one bounces out. Battle for it underneath. Second chance coming for Bethune Cookman. 26 16. 
3.39 left in the first half. Edwards inside the hunt. Ball's intercepted by Coffin State. Beverly has it. Gets it to Graham. Smith. Got to hit that paint, Todd. Got to don't change the game plan. Got to hit it inside. So effective in the first quarter. Beverly tries it. There she goes. Ball slapped away, but Coppin State will get it back. Now, again, as Candace Beverly drove right of the lane, Graham cuts hard right down the center of the paint. And then you got Crooms coming in weak side left for anything coming off along with Dami. Brianna Battle checks back in, and Ashante Hunt sets down for the first time tonight. Smith has it on the left wing. She's going to go straight down the paint. Here she goes. Ball's up. Out. But that was a good try. That's what we need to do. And the shot clock was down under three when she drove to the basket. Coppin State gets the ball back. Inbound. Graham back out front to Beverly. Mariah will shoot a three. No good. 2.52 left. Wildcats by 10. Williams has it. Fist in the air. Long three ball in the air. Good by Battle. Brianna Battle. Brianna Battle, a freshman guard from Pompano Beach, Florida. 29-16. Tommy on the left side of the perimeter. To Grand. They got it inside, and we'll get a foul on Williams. Emily Williams picks up the foul. Second personal. Well, Hunt didn't sit on the bench very long. She's back in the game, replacing Williams. Smith will inbound. Out to Beverly to Graham at the top of the key. 2.15. Chance will shoot a three. High off the glass, no good. Here comes Hunt. To Golden, she'll shoot a three. No good. Underneath, Hunt has it. No reset. Golden's going to shoot again. Good. Three-point play. Angel Golden has 19 points in the first half alone. Make it 32-16, Bethune-Cookman. 147 left in the first half. And Angel Golden has been on fire. Passed off to Beverly. Beverly out front to Smith. Dami, a 20-footer. Missed everything. Underneath, Graham puts it in. She was right there. Got the second chance and laid it in. 32-18. 124 left. Hunt works the right. Angel Golden has it to, to uh, battle. Battle to Golden. Head fake doesn't take the shot. Back out front to battle. Battle will shoot. Long ball. Good. Three-point play. 35-18. Battle and Golden are lighting it up right now. Third three and a half, Dan. She's got nine points. Only 55 seconds left. 19 on the shot clock. Crooms has it. Now let's see what the call is there. It's going to be on battle. Scott just replaced Brown with 48.1 to go for the Lady Wildcats. Beverly will throw it in. Gets it out to Crooms. 46 seconds left. Smith, bounce into Graham. Graham is guarded heavily in there. Finally, she gets it and lays it in. Goodness gracious, Todd, did you see the contact there? But Chance just picked the ball up, got herself through it, and put it in. Through the double team. 25 seconds. Traveling violation there, going the other way. That was on, I believe that was on Scott. Coach Burles, he, he is always chatting away in there. 
35-20 is your score. Bethune-Cookman on top by 15. 22.9 seconds left. Well, the issue was Lady Wildcats coach came all the way out to the time stripe. Coach Burroughs had already been warned about that in the previous game. <laughs> he just pleaded his kids with the official to make sure that's even. 16 seconds, and Graham has it again. She's, boy, she, again she's hammered. They call it this time, though. This one's going to go on Edwards, Lindsay Edwards. And it'll send Chance to the line. Chance has 14 points this afternoon. Her shot's good. 35-21. Only 11.5 seconds left in the first half. Second shot rolls in. 13-point lead for the Wildcats. Golden has it to Hunt. Five seconds. Edwards will shoot. No good. Coppin State clears as time expires. So that's the end of the first half. Your score, Bethune-Cookman 35, Coppin State 22. And this is the Coppin State Sports Network. And we're here with Coach Burroughs, courtside, as we head to the break. And as we keep it here sideline, Coach, real quick, a 11-7 Coppin lead in the first quarter after a 7-0 run, and then Angel Golden and Bethune-Cookman answer with an 8 nothing run of their own to retake the lead. Oh, when they can shoot the ball, you know, and that's what we talk about in practice. we got to contest every shot. we got to contest every shot, and we're leaving them wide open threes, and they're going to knock them down. Not that you're changing the game plan by any stretch of the imagination. You talked about turnovers. So many unforced errors in this opening half. If that gets cleaned up and then they close out on Golden, how's the uh, second half look for you? It's a better basketball game. You know, we can, uh, if we can keep them turn the ball over and we get back in the basketball game, we just got to make shots. You know, we get, make shots and make some stops. We do that and we'll be fine. Finally, Chance Graham is being a beast. Yes. Lack of a better term. 16 points battling through double teams every time she catches the ball. Well, that, that's just Chance. She's used to being double team. I'm trying to get her to understand that don't sell it for the three-point shot, get to the basket, and, and we work inside out from there. But she's got to understand that. She's shooting a jump shot and fading away and all that good stuff because she's rushing herself. Just get on the post and let's start get you to score on the inside and outside to come to you. Appreciate the time. Look forward to the second half. Thank you. There is head coach Dwayne Burroughs here at the half. And, Dan, as he got ready to sit down, I believe he was given a warning by the official. Well, he was, he was definitely not a happy man. Let's put it that way. But he made a good point about Chance Graham. I mean... This team was more patient in this first half. There, there was a little stretch where it got away from them a little bit, but they came back well in the last three minutes of the first half. But if they keep this momentum into the second half and be patient and take those good shots and wait, be patient, work the ball underneath. I mean, Chance had an outstanding first half. She was she fought hard, and there was a lot of contact. I'll tell you what I expect. I expect Hunt will focus on chance in the second half you know her coach uh coach blair lewis i've seen video where coach lewis affectionately uh, coach blair lewis affectionately calls her hunt the garbage girl because she gets all the garbage type assignments because she is a tough defender and i expect that they with that hunt will focus more on chance in the second half at the break it is Bethune Cookman leading Coppin State 35 22. Back with more of our halftime show after this timeout on the Coppin State Sports Network.
Welcome back, everyone. It's Bethune-Cookman 35 and Coppin State 22. I'm Dan Mason with Tom Bartley. And what do you think here? We go into the second half, Todd. We're down by 13 points. What's your strategy if you're Coach Burroughs? They have got to figure out a way to slow down Angel Golden because in the opening half, 7 of 14 from the field, 5 of 10 from 3, and as Coach Burroughs mentioned a moment ago, she's not afraid to shoot the basketball. Well, knowing that, you have got to get somebody over there to at least get a hand in her face because just two field goals, excuse me, four field goal attempts that were not from three. Well, she's 7 for 14 from the field, 5 for 10 from three-point land. Interesting tonight, or this afternoon, you know, uh, Bethune-Cookman has not been to the free-throw line this game. I don't think I've seen anything like that for some time. So, to my point, make Golden Drive. That's right. That's right. And, you know, the Eagles are 6 for 7 from the free-throw uh, free line, 2 for 5 from three-point land, 7 for 20 uh, from the field. So, shooting 35%, uh, not that good, but rebounds, rebounding has really been good. Our turnovers are not so good, uh, but we're, we're still in the game. We're still in this game. And with Chance Graham, 16 points, and I mean an absolute battle to get 16 points. That's right. And you, you know, when Chance goes home tonight, she deserves a good hot shower because it's got to be tough underneath. She's been hammered and probably didn't get all the calls on fouls that she deserved. Oh, no question about it. Having just put that double team of Edwards and Brown a lot of times and then Hunt right there, and you mentioned the fact that she does a lot of the dirty work, if you will. Uh, Ashanti Hunt, a first-team uh, All-MIAC preseason selection, and, and she's showing why. She has four points in the opening half, but she's doing the little things. Deflections, knocking it away, a block here, a steal there. Does everything very, very well. Now, the question is, will we see genesis lucas and when will we see genesis lucas we'll find out in the second half final halftime timeout two and a half minute break in the second half with bethune cookman in front of conference state 35 22 at the break on the conference state sports network
Backcourt set at the PEC here at Coppin State University, Baltimore, Maryland. Bethune-Cookman leads Coppin State 35-22. Here's Dan Mason with the call. Thank you, Todd. We're ready to start the second half enthusiastically, I'll say. Coppin State out front. Smith tries to go inside. Could not happen. Now they get it in to Chance Grant, or make that uh, Taylor. Spins around. No good. She pick up the foul. That's the game plan, Todd. If that's any indication... As Brown picks up her second of how the whistles are going to go in the second half. I like our chances. Taylor at the line. She'll shoot two. This is an opportunity to cut into that lead in the first 15 seconds. I like it. Shots good by Alexis. Alexis Taylor from Washington, D.C. Wants to own her own business someday, Todd. Big Wizards fan, too. Second shot, this one's no good. Edwards gets a rebound. Now Williams has it. Gets it to Hunt. To Angel Golden, to Hunt. 35-23. Hunt with the ball. Slapped away by Graham. Nice defensive play. Goes out of bounds, but the Wildcats will keep it. 12 to shoot. Williams slaps the ball, goes way out front to Hunt. Williams a long three, rims out. Chance with a rebound. Graham has a boatload of rebounds, huh? Smith deep off the perimeter. Graham, a three-point play, air ball. Bounces around and it goes to the Wildcats. Like to see good shot selection. Yeah, the first look was not inside. It was a stand-up three. That's not the best. 9-12. Coppin State down by 12. Here's Williams. Working left to Golden. Back out front to Williams. And Hunt has it about five feet off the perimeter. To Williams. Golden. Inside to Brown. Brown traveled. There's a turnover. The ninth of the game. For the Wildcats. Yeah, Dan, that's the old catch, and you try to get an extra step as you're trying to uh, put your back to the basket. She got called for the uh, traveling violation. Mariah crosses center court. Now she goes left. Give and go. Out of bounds. And the Wildcats will take over. Inbound to Williams. Golden bracing down the left side. Slowing it down now. Williams has it. She's going to fire three. Good. Don't see that often. Emily Williams scores a three. 38-23. Got that 15-point lead again. Up. Mariah scores. Driving the basket. Puts it in. Going the other way. Brown swings it around. No good. Coppin State with a rebound. And here comes Williams looking up the floor. Dami was under there, open, didn't see her. Another turnover. She holds the ball away. Williams has it. Gets it to Golden. Golden's going to fire a three. Here it comes. No good. Graham with a sweeping rebound, but lost it to Williams. Golden drives the lane, puts it up and in. Golden was right there. Right place, right time kind of play. 40 to 25. Taken away from the other end. Well. Wildcats get it back. Now Williams is going to fire another three. Bounces in. Gets the bounce on that time. 43-25. Coach Burroughs wants timeout. Your score, Bethune-Cookman 43, Coppin State 25, 7-27 left in the third period. You're listening to the Coppin State Sports Network.
Out of the Comet State timeout, they trail Bethune-Cookman 43-25. One team, one dream, one dance. 2018 MEAC basketball tournament right around the corner. Tickets are now on sale. This year's tournament runs from March 5th through the 10th at Scope Arena in Norfolk, Virginia. For more information, log on to MEACHoops.com. Tickets can be purchased in the athletic ticket office or through Ticketmaster.com. Again, March 5th through the 10th in Norfolk, Virginia for the MEAC basketball tournament. Well, Todd, we see... We see the answer to our question. Genesis Lucas checks in, and she's in the game now. I thought she'd replace Mariah Smith, but not so. Looks like she replaces Beverly. So Alexa Taylor has it. Gets it to Smith. Smith and... Oh, there's a lot of contact there. Got to be a foul this time. Foul looks like it's going to be on Williams. On Emily Williams. Mariah hit the hit the deck hard. That's three on Williams. Genesis will take it in on the left side. Beverly has it. Graham sets a screen for her. She doesn't take the shot. Mariah in the left right corner. 19 on the shot clock. Beverly drives a paint. Here's Alexis Taylor. A 10-footer bounces out. And we'll get a foul. This one's going to go against. This one's going to go against Williams. Nope. Make that Edwards. Third personal on on uh, Edwards. Dami's in the game, and she'll replace Taylor. Edwards comes out, and Scott checks in for the Wildcats. Lucas will inbound to Graham. Graham to Smith. Now working the right. Genesis threw it away. Wildcats coming with Hunt. Hunt hits a 15-footer on the left wing. 20-point lead now, longest of the game. 6.43 left in the third period. Here's, well, I could, it's hard to see that. Dami got that shot, driving the left baseline. 45-27. Wildcats on top. Inside to Brown. She's one on one against Dami. Dami got her inside. Slapped her across the wrist. That's her first. The Wildcats will inbound under the basket. Take it away right away. Good defensive play by Dami. To Beverly. She pulls up with a 10-footer. It's good. Candace Beverly picks up her fourth point this afternoon. 45-29. Battle with the ball, and she flips it out of bounds on the left-hand side, on the baseline, or the sideline, I should say. More substitutions now. Hardy's in the game for the Wildcats, replacing Scott. Lucas, cross center court, 558, third quarter. Dami's at the top of the key. Gets it to Smith. Smith against Battle. Battle takes it away from her. Battle and Smith go down. Battle up off the glass, no good. We'll see what happens. I think we're going to get a foul on Mariah here. Yep, that's what they call. And Battle will go to the free throw line. Battles a 77% free throw shooter. She'll shoot two. First free throw attempts for the Lady Wildcats today. First shot's no good. Got one left. 546 left in the third quarter. Second one on the way is good. Now a press by the Wildcats. Genesis driving for the basket, puts it in. So Genesis Lucas hits one. Been a while, Todd. Battle against Lucas. Hunt has it. She drives the baseline. Here's, uh, oh, underneath, more contact. Hardy tried to take a 10-footer from the right. Missed it. Hunt picked it up. 
And Lucas fouled Hunt. Will put her on the free throw line. Yeah, you mentioned Jen's absence in that opening half. Her offense much needed today for the Eagles. Hunt misses the first shot. She's a 66% free throw shooter. Second shot, missed that one. Bethune Cookman's only a 64% shooting team for the free throw line. Beverly misses a shot. And Angel Golden has the rebound. Battles set the offense. 5-0-6 in the third quarter. Bounce pass inside. Back outside. Hunt has it inside to Hardy. No good. Beverly's running. Gets it to Graham. Graham to Smith. She has Genesis in the corner open. Tommy's had a tough time today. Couldn't hit, couldn't get inside. Now they get it to Graham. Graham is muscles her way up, and again, another and one. Carbon copy of what we saw in the second quarter when she muscled her way through. And this is on Hunt. Same thing, and Hunt was assigned to Chance and couldn't stop her. Timeout on the floor. Your score, Bethune-Cookman 46, Coppin State 33. You're listening to the Coffin State Sports Network. Score 46-33, Bethune-Cookman on top. And what about Chance Graham? Muscled her way for that shot, picks up an and one, and Hunt could not stop her that time, Todd. 18 points, eight rebounds, keeping Coppin State in this game in the third. Shot on the way, it's good. Cuts the lead to 12, and a full court press now by the Eagles. Ball comes into Golden. She's immediately double teamed. Gets it off to Battle. Back over to Golden. She's over to center stripe. Battle has it. Guarded by Lucas. 19 on the shot clock. Hunt on the right wing. Back to Battle. To Golden. Bounced inside. Scott spins. No good. Smith with the rebound. Mariah goes to the bucket, puts it up off the glass, no good. Paddle underneath. Looks like a jump ball, and we're going the other way. Coppin State. Well, wait a minute here. What's going on here, Todd? Yeah, the officials are having a conversation because it came back that she was dribbling and they're going to put the shot clock down to 27. And it's going to stay or be awarded to Bethune Cookman. Well, there is no jump ball then. Ball taken away by Genesis Lucas as it comes inbounded. Tommy has a 10 footer on the way, no good. Now the Wildcats have it again, and Hunt's on the run. Long pass up to Brown. She puts it up and in. 
Coppin State's on the attack now, 48-34. Genesis looks to the bench to get direction from Coach Burroughs. Swung right to Mia. Mia tightly guarded by Battle. Graham, a three ball. She's got it. Full court press the other way. Hunt breaks it, and she's moving quickly. Brown slapped away by Don, by uh, Graham. What a block that was. Now there's a foul. It's going to be on Smith. That's Mia's third foul. Going to send Golden to the line. First shot. Good. Edwards comes in the game for the Wildcats. Replaces Brown. And Angel Golden will have a second uh, free throw. 3.07 left in the third quarter. Bethune Cookman by 12. Watch for fire. Second shot's good. 13 point lead. Todd, you get the feeling we're still in the game, though. Yeah, they need a score and some stops here late in the third. The trap becomes a defensive trap to Genesis. And a foul. Can't get by with that one. It's going to be on Angel Golden. Yeah, and Coppin's got to come back to the ball when they see Jen in that double team. Somebody's got to come back to help her. It's only her first. Golden's first foul. Fifth on Bethune-Cookman here in the third. Puts Jen at the line. She'll get two. First shot is good. Probably the wrong person to foul on Coppin State. She's an 83% free throw shooter. Second shot. Good. The lead now is at 11. And a full court press. Deep to Edwards. Fires a 10-footer. No good. Hunt has it. Immediately double team. Back out to Golden for three. Nope. Dami has it. Lucas pushes the floor up. Now Mia's way out in front. Up in the glass. It's good. Mia Smith looking good. And immediately Bethune Cookman wants timeout. Timeout on the floor. Bethune Cookman 50. Coppin 41. You're listening to the Coppin State Sports Network. How about Mariah Smith puts in the last bucket? And how about Chance Graham, a career high? Only down by nine now, cutting into that lead. 50-41 with 2.41 left. Long pass to Scott. Off the glass and good. Compensate quickly back the other way. Lucas over the time strike. 2.30 in the third quarter. Genesis hands the ball off to Beverly. Beverly to Smith. Smith, a floater. No good. Gets her own rebound. Bounces out to Genesis and will restart. Fresh shot clock now. 52-41. Genesis drives the paint off. She's going to fire up one. Nope. Not the best shot in the world. Going back the other way quickly. Off the glass was the Wildcats and no good. And there's a whistle. Hunt threw that one up on the other end, but couldn't get it. Yeah, Chance Graham got blasted into the scorer's table on the far side by Hunt. That's her second. That'll send Graham to the line with a minute 56 for two. First shot by Chance. Bounces out. Tough one. 
Got a tough bounce on that one, Ty. Second shot's good. The lead's at 10. 155 left. Battle gets it over the timeline. To Hunt. Scott. Over the fire three. Off the mark. Genesis Lucas has it. And they're on the move. Beverly drives down the center of the lane, puts it up off the glass. No good. And a, let's see what we have here. A foul on Coppin State. Going the other way on the battle for the rebound. Chance Graham. That's Chance's first foul. That's not a foul. That's good defense. Good job, Chance. What was the exact call on that? I believe over the back. That will send Edwards to the line. First trip tonight to the line for Edwards. First shot, good. Edwards only a 53% free throw shooter. Second shot, bounces off, no good. Graham with a rebound. Minute 32 left. Genesis with two fingers in the air, calling a play. To Dami. Dami to Smith. Drive the basket. And a foul. This one will be on Scott. So first, Mariah goes to the strike. Shoot two. Yeah, that two call that you were talking about a moment ago is that two game they like to play. Oh, Mariah, first one bounces out. So we'll have another. Minute 21. Second shot in there. Leads at 10. Golden has it to Hunt. It's guarded by Lucas. Battle works the right wing now to the center. A minute seven. Edwards has it. Ball taken away, slapped away by Dami out of bounds. Scott was looking for an easy basket there, but Dami came flying through to slap it out of bounds. Battle now will throw it way out front to Hunt. Here she goes, down the middle, underneath Scott. Traveled. Graham was right there, though, to slap it right right away, but they called her for traveling. Yeah, as soon as that whistle was blown, I'm thinking, oh, they're going to get another foul. But sure enough, she took that extra step. Williams back in the game for the Wildcats, and Battle checks out. 58 seconds now. Wildcats with a 10-point lead. Lucas to the right to Smith. Now they'll work the left with Beverly. 17 on the shot clock. Beverly, a 10-footer. Bounces around, no good. Whistle underneath. Fouls on Edwards. It'll put Graham back at the free throw line. Four now on Edwards. Well, you could take your pick right there. Three different players. For the Lady Wildcats, clearing Chance Graham out of the lane. First shot by Chance is good. And Brown back in the game. Edwards will be out. This is where we have a chance to close the gap here, Todd, at the oh, free throw line. Without question. There, now get a stop defensively. Second shot by Chance is good. Lead at eight now, 53-45. 39 seconds left. Golden. Pitches to Scott. Scott to Williams. 32 seconds. 20 on the shot clock. Hunt. Bounced inside to Scott. Spins. Puts it up. No good. Whistle underneath. They call, this, they call it on chance. I didn't see it. Neither did I. I thought she was going for the rebound off a missed shot. Nevertheless, Amaya Scott goes to the free throw line. 
She'll shoot two. First shot, no good. 22.8 seconds. Second one's good. 54 45. 22 seconds. Shot clock is off. Smith way out front. Inside the Graham. And there's a foul. Way over the back that time. This one goes against Scott. Puts Chance Graham back at the line again. Two fouls on Scott this afternoon. Chance hits the first. Second shot. No good. Brown with the rebound. Seven seconds left. And Golden has it. Have to stop her. Two seconds. Fires a three. No good. Air ball. We play three quarters. And the Eagles are still in this one. Bethune Cookman 54, Coppin State 46. This, this is Coppin State Sports Network. That court side of the PEC, Conference State is trailed by as many as 20 at 45-25. They battled all the way back at the end of the third, 54-46, to bring you what should be an exciting fourth quarter. Here is Stan Mason. Thank you, Todd. What I really like, the shooting percentage came up from the field in the third quarter. I really like that. We've been very selective on three-pointers tonight, or this afternoon. Only shot seven. And here we go. An exciting fourth quarter on the way. Eagles down by only eight. Genesis Lucas drifting back and forth from the perimeter. Inside, Graham, here she goes, up off the glass, good! Another and one. At least three times today this has happened. The Allen side was on Brown for third. And once again, Chance Graham goes to the line for the 13th time today. Shot is up. Good. She's made 10 of 13 from the stripe. 54-49. Golden with it to Williams. Double teamed. Off to Hunt. A foul. going to be on Graham. That's three on Chance now. Chance is a disciplined player. I believe she can play through that, Todd. I'm sure she will. Golden back out front to Williams. To Hunt. Golden to Hunt. Williams to the left. Hunt to the center. Williams is going to fire another three. This one's no good. Goes off to Coppin. Williams is way off the mark that time. Maybe a fatigue factor beginning to set in a little bit. And like we said, the Eagles are much more disciplined this game. 
Bethune-Cookman leads the conference with an 11-0 record. Mariah swings across. Here's Beverly underneath. Good. Beverly drove the baseline from the right side and dropped it in. 54-51. Pass goes to Golden. Now Williams will set the offense. 16 on the shot clock. Golden takes it into the right corner. They get it to Brown. Brown underneath drops it in. And she'll get the and one. Foul underneath on Dami. Brown looked like she took an extra step to me underneath there. Hardy will be in the game. Williams will come out for the Wildcats. Brown will be at the line shooting one this time to complete an M1. Ball's no good. Chance way in the air for that. 56-51. Lucas to Beverly. Smith to the left corner. Eight oh five left. Genesis is going to shoot a three. Good. Genesis Lucas for a three pointer. Fifty six fifty four. Bethune Cookman with Hunt on the move. It's by two defenders. Chance underneath. Close. Brown lays it in. Fifty eight fifty four. Seven forty left. Lucas to Smith. Lucas in front. Gets a pass off the chance. Graham buys it in. Nice assist from Genesis. The chance Graham as she put it in. Wildcats coming the other way. Brown has it underneath the Hardy. She almost lost it out of bounds. She spun around though with a left hand. She put it in from about four feet. 60 56. 707 left. Lucas calls for Smith to come forward. She does. Underneath and a foul. This one's going to go against. This one's going to go against Hardy. It'll put Chance Graham back on the line. Boy, it is getting really tight in here now, Todd. Without question, Lucas is three. By the way, ties her for second all time in made threes with Delma Lyles at 121. Substitution for the Wildcats. Scott replaces Hardy. Coppin State will inbound. Beverly gets it into Lucas. Deep in the left corner. She wants to drive the baseline. She does. Shot blocked. Coming the other way. Here comes Hunt. Hunt is quickly coming up for it with Smith one-on-one. -on -one. Wide open is battle. She's going to shoot the three and nails it. She was wide open. Opens the lead to seven now. 6.36 left. Lucas to the right. Dami in center. Smith has it. She's going to shoot a three. It's blocked. Taken away by Hunt. Hunt has it. She drives the lane. Puts it up. No good. And Dami's got her foul. Dami fouled her that time. Hunt slowly getting up. Took a spill. It's three on Dami. And Hunt will go to the free throw line. She's 0 for 2 tonight from there. 6-16. Wildcats up by 7. First shot good. Second shot, it's good. Nine point lead. Oh, and Hunt will pick up the foul here. Don't block, just knocked it out of bounds. 
That's a lot of contact. And no whistle on the contact. Lucas will take it inbound. Into Beverly. 6-11 left. Got to close a few now, Todd. Beverly working the left wing. This will be a foul inside on Scott. For third. Third team foul with 6.02 left. A couple of more, and we'll be in the bonus. Graham has it to Smith. Out of the left corner. No good by Lucas. Coppin State has the ball again. 5.48 left. Critical basket right here. Smith to Lucas. She'll drive. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Wildcats have it. Hunt. Looking for direction from the coach. Gets it off the battle. Battle's bumped by Smith. No call. Golden has it inside. There's Brown up off the glass. Good. 67-56 with five minutes left. Nine straight by Bethune-Cookman after Coppin cut it to two. Tommy has it. She drives. It's knocked out of bounds, though. Timeout, like time timeout. State. I was wondering how the coach could be out on the court like that. But it's a timeout. Timeout on the floor. Your score, Bethune-Cookman 67, Coppin State 56. And this is the Coppin State Sports Network. Courtside at the PEC, Dune Cookman leading Coppin State 67 56 with 4.49 to go. You're in the huddle with Coach Burroughs. What would you predict the strategy would be with 4.49 left? Jen on the drive and finds either Graham or Beverly crashing to the glass. I think our best shots, Todd, are the ones close in. Got to go for that fifth foul to get in the bonus. Beverly gets it into Graham. Battle takes it away, and the Wildcats are on the run. Battle looks like a traveling violation there. That's a turnover. No question about that. Battle looks a little confused on how she could travel, but looked pretty obvious from here. Here comes Lucas. Now we're at 438. Needs some offense. Mariah. Tries to drive, ball's taken away, slapped away, and the Wildcats have it again. Battle against Smith. Brown has it. She gets free up off the rim. She spins it right in. 69-56. Brown's got all 10 in the second half. Bill on the floor. Who do they give it to? Was that a foul? She tripped her. Okay. At least that was the call. That's on Hunt. Oh, 
on the pin whistle. Golden has it. She's on the way by herself. Puts it in. Angel Golden. 28 points on the night for Angel Golden. Shot clock came all the way down to 22. They're going to have to reset it to about 27, 28. Thirteen unanswered by Bethune Cookman after Coppin cut it to two. 71 56, 350 left in this game. Bethune Cookman looking for victory number 12. Chance Graham has it. Mariah Smith inside. Beverly almost lost it. Fighting for it. Gets it back out to Graham. Graham to Lucas. She'll drive the paint, puts it up, no good. Beverly with the rebound. Smith has it on the left wing. Lucas gets direction from Coach Burroughs on you know, the uh, bench to Beverly. Beverly weaves her way through the lane. Gets it to Genesis, puts it up, no good. Had good looks that time, Todd, couldn't cash in. And yeah, Coach Burroughs... One of the foul call there. I thought there was a bit of contact as well. We're down to 253. Golden. Deep on the right side. Hands off to Hunt. Hunt now will go through the lane. Puts it up. No good. Brown with the rebound. Reset. Gets it to battle. 238. To Golden. To Hunt. Battle has it. She's wide open. Puts it up, no good, and a, going on as a battle for the rebound. Lucas has it. Nice bounce pass to Dami. Out of bounds. Coppin will get it back. Nice defensive play by Hunt that time. Yeah, Dami and Hunt have been going at it all night long, and Ashanti gave her a little bit of a look after the far side official saw that came in and said, I got it. Calm down. <laughs> 218. Beverly has it with Golden on her. Smith. Here's Dami again. Ten footer is good. 71 58. Full court press again by the Eagles. Lucas with Golden. They come across the timeline together. Brown has it deep in the right corner. A crisscross pass all the way to Battle on the left side. Hunt now. With Beverly on her. Scott with Dami on her. And a whistle inside. Looks like it's going to be on Beverly. Yep. And I have a feeling they're coming to the monitor to double check. Both teams go to their respective huddles. And the officials will take a quick look. At the moment, the foul's been assessed on Candace Beverly. Only a minute 43 left. Eagles down by 13. Yeah, they're in must-stop territory now. Defensively and offensively, you've got to get as many as you can get and as quick as you can do it. And as we talked about a moment ago, Dan, that field goal by Dami stymied the 13 0 run after Coppin had cut the margin to two at 58 56. Overall, I think the Eagles have played a much better game than we've seen in the past three or four. They've been a lot more patient with their shots, done a good job on the boards. That second quarter to low. A couple of minutes in there where they didn't put any points up. 17-8 in that quarter. Took a six-point lead to 35-22. And then moreover into the third quarter, down 20 at 45-25. It's battling back. Still got more to learn on protecting the ball. But overall, a better effort. That Genesis Lucas playing a half right. under the weather. The official's taking a long time here to figure this one out. Yeah, I'm curious if they're double-checking the number on the foul or 
do we have a flagrant foul situation? Or a double foul? That wouldn't surprise me either. Now this is basically turned into an extended timeout for both teams with 1.43 to go and 9 to shoot. Now we're going to call both coaches to the time strike. Well, one coach is going to be upset, for sure. What they were looking for, and I just heard the official say this, was unsportsmanlike conduct on the floor. And they're going to recycle the shot clock to 30 seconds. So... And we're back to live action. And that foul's going to stand on Candace Beverly. So that was basically, they verified the foul and then said, all right, let's, we're going to clean things up. Hunt gets the ball inbound to battle. Battle deep, outside, to Golden. Ball's taken away by Chance. Chance has it. And she's coming up to the floor, one-on-one -on -one against Golden. Golden takes it away. And she drives the basket, lays it in, and gets point number 30. 30 points for Golden. Smith out to Beverly. Beverly passes off to the left to Dami, and Dami hits a 10-footer. Timeout, Coppin State. Bethune-Cookman 73, Coppin State 60. This is the Coppin State Sports Network. That court set at the PEC here at Coppin State University. 73-60, Bethune-Cookman with the lead. To bring you the final 66 seconds, here's Dan Mason. Well, we know we've talked about Golden all night long at 30 points, but look up on the scoreboard, Todd. Guess who's got 31? Chance Graham. What a great night that she's had tonight. Ball is inbound. That's a career high for Chance, too. Scott has it. Hunt back out front to battle. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Coppin State's got a foul. Get the clock stopped. Hunt, she'll shoot a 25-footer. Good. Make it 73-60. They're adjusting the game clock to 46.2. Chance Graham with her ninth. Double-double this year, 13th of her career. Here's Lucas over center court. Smith. Looking for a shot, gets it off to Dami. Out front, Chance Graham for a three, no good. Wildcats have it, 29 seconds. Scott gets a screen from Brown. Bounce pass now to Brown. There's now Brown underneath. No good. Chance Graham has it. Ten seconds now. She'll drive. Ball's knocked out of bounds. The uh, Eagles retain possession. Only 6.5 seconds left. Yes, 
Ball comes in deep to Beverly. Down to five. Chance shoots a three. It's good at the buzzer. Well, a good effort, but a loss to Bethune-Cookman. The Wildcats win it 75-63. to We'll keep it right here and wait for Coach Burroughs to come over and get his input. Todd, that was a tough loss. I thought it was a better effort. Yeah, the two keys to this game, the 17-8 second quarter where the scoring lull set in and then the big run down the stretch in the fourth quarter, Coppin gets it to two and then Bethune-Cookman uses that 13-0 run to finish off the contest to win 75-63. As Coach Burroughs now rejoins us here courtside, Chance Graham has a huge double-double today. 34 points. We'll get the final rebounding number, but at last check she had 11, so my guess is 15-16 when it's all said and done. How good was she for you today? Oh, she played extremely well. I just wish everyone else would have played at the level that she played at today. She did a fantastic job. She had a great game. Played inside and out, and, and she was on, on the boards as, as usual. Coach, down 20 in the second half at 45-25. Coppin cuts the margin to two at 58-56. What were you telling your team at that point? At halftime, I told them if we can get the, get the lead under 10, going into the fourth quarter, which we did, we cut it down to eight. I just thought we were going to be in a, give us a chance to win the game. And, and we were in position to win. We just started turning the ball over again. So a potential third matchup with Bethune-Cookman potentially awaits in that MEAC tournament in Norfolk. What do you take away from this game, even though it's a double-digit loss? You had the margin at two points late in this game. Well, I mean, we, we got to take care of the basketball. I look at the turnovers. She'll be finished with 21 turnovers. You know, the team is, you know, mid-major top 25 team. You can't afford to have 25 turnovers and expect to win the basketball game. Looking ahead, it's a quick turnaround now on the road. Delaware State on Monday night. What do you expect? Again, we're on the road. It's in the MEAC, so anything can happen. We just have to take care of the basketball. We can't afford to have 25 turnovers. We did a pretty decent job of scoring the ball, you know, but a couple possessions when we didn't score in the third quarter when they went back up on us again. Coach, one thing that I, we, did, we did notice, much better shot selection tonight. Much, yeah. much, much better. And even even with the threes, five for 11 from three-point range, but I got I to gotta point that out, much better selection. We, 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 well, you and I talked before the game, and I told our kids before the game that we need to work inside out. So, you know, so we went to Chance a lot on the inside, tried to get the ball to Domi a lot on the inside, and I believe that's where Chance got a lot of her points in, in the pink. So we, we, we needed that, and we have to do that every night. Appreciate the time, as always. Good luck on Monday night. All right, thank you. There it is. Head coach Dwayne Burroughs here joining us post-game courtside at Coppin State. We're back with our post-game show in two minutes on the Coppin State Sports Network.
That course out at the PEC here at Coppice State University. Tom Orley, Dan Mason for the final time. 75-63, Bethune-Cookman. We had two lead changes in this game. 7-6, Bethune-Cookman. And then Coppin takes an 8-7 lead. They would have that lead at 11-7. That would be their last lead of the game because Bethune-Cookman retook it at a 12-11. And that was, uh, that was that, as they say. Well, Todd, there's some improvement here. We need to address this because from the field, 39.6%. I don't believe we talked about this in a timeout. I don't believe the Eagles have shot that well uh, at that number. And then from three-point land, 45.5. And from the uh, free throw line, 76.2, which is much better than their season average of 70. Now, in the rebounding department, they out-rebounded Bethune-Cookman, 39-34. It's one stat that is glaring that we got to improve on, and that's the turnover ratio. So it's, it really hurt tonight. 25-9 points off turnovers in favor of Bethune-Tookman. Right. It's the difference in the game at 75-63. Well, we'll keep on moving forward. So, you know, I, I have to say that we'll see where I think we got a good shot at Delaware. We'll move on there, and, uh, you know, we'll be back here together on, for uh, the uh, next game at Morton State, and uh, we'll look forward. Winnable game at Delaware State. Winnable game on the road across to Adam Morgan State. Then you come home to Howard. Another potential winnable game. And to get three coming down a stretch now at five and eight in the league, you got to have it to finish at eight and eight and get one of those middle seeds. Right. I mean, I, I, it's doable. The, the team's growing. And if we uh, take the good shot selection like we did tonight and we'll cut back on those turnovers, our rebounding's in good shape. With the win, Bethune Cookman does clinch. That first round bye in the MEAC tournament, and they get to 20 wins on the year. Well, they're an outstanding team. They're ranked 25th, and, you know, I expect that rank to go up. It's a really good basketball team. So that'll do it for our fine production staff here at Cobb State University. Also, my partner, Todd Bartley. This is Dan Mason saying good afternoon from Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs>